it's M, the Beginner Crafter. Welcome to another floss chip video. And um, I've only worked on three projects this time. Um, I worked on the Hogwarts crest. Oops, sorry. It's um, this way uh, up. And um, I've almost finished page three. Uh, because uh, what I have left is uh, this bit of background of the Hufflepuff uh, part and then the yellow part of the ribbon. Um, I did, however, choose to move on to page four. Um, haven't done much there, mostly uh, completed the logo here. Um, but I moved on to page four just because uh, this yellow bit will continue onto page four and it will be much easier for me to count things once I have this part. And with this yellow bit, I didn't finish it because first I need to check whether I'll need this yellow somewhere here as well. Uh, I don't really think so because this yellow was specific to the Hufflepuff um, area of the badge of the crest, but um, yeah, I just wanted to check um, how things um, work on page four. So that's why uh, there are still a few bits unfinished on page three, but I have already moved to page four. Uh, so that's like a quarter left of uh, the whole thing. Uh, so that's really quite exciting to know that uh, I've moved so much in the Hogwarts crest uh, picture. And I think it looks really great. Um, I like it more and more. And I'm hoping I'll like it even more because now it's the Ravenclaw part and uh, their background is blue, which I love. So uh, it should be the best of all of those um, parts uh, for now. So that's kind of cool. And uh, just working on this Hogwarts crest really gave me, uh, again, some boost of energy to work on it a bit more. Uh, and I hope it stays with me this way, because then I'll have another finish <laughs> this year, which would be really good to be able to finish um, another picture uh, during the year. Um, so hope to continue with this one uh, in the next few weeks as well. Then I've got the Virgo. And with the Virgo... I've also moved on to the next page because I have left uh, these areas the same as I did it uh, last time. They are just... Um, because they are writing, uh, they are letters and they use a lot of shades. And those letters mostly finish around here. Uh, so I didn't want to cut so many threads. I'll just complete those once I get to those rows and that will be it. And I have to say, um, I had to really push myself uh, to work on the Virgo uh, these two weeks. I think I'm bored with it. I need some vacation from it. Um, like even the idea of finishing a page and starting a new one didn't give me this much boost as I hoped it would and it wasn't even close to what I felt when I finished the page uh, in, the Hogwarts, in the Hogwarts Crest. So I think I'll need to give this one a bit of a rest for a while. Uh, because I, I really didn't feel like working on it at all. And yeah, I just um, st struggled through with it. Uh, and I did it mostly because of the channel. <laughs> 
So I'm actually quite grateful again for the channel uh, because it does motivate me and it does make me work through my laziness and worst days, um, things like that. Uh, but I think I'll just say it now, I'll need some vacation from the Virgo. Uh, maybe next week I'll feel better about it and I'll come back to it and then I'll sh be able to show it to you, the next floss tube. But today I really feel like um, I need a break from the Virgo. And uh, I, you know, I have time uh, for rest uh, with the Virgo because I'm really getting closer to finishing. I mean, there are just two pages until the end of this row. And then uh, the rows below, the pages below, are not full pages um, of stitches. So it's really not that much. Uh, so even if the plan is to finish this um, picture, uh, this project this year, I do have time to give it a rest and give myself a rest from it. And that's what I think I'll do. Uh, it, it really... Mm, didn't give me any pleasure to work on it this this time so um and i want stitching to be pleasure um so i think i'll have vacation from it uh for a while so if you don't see it next time that's why i just i uh, will put it on hold And the last picture that I actually worked on was Miranda. And with Miranda, I mostly finished, completed finishing this page because uh, if you've watched my last floss tube, I did move on to the next page here and I had this first um, square done. But uh, because I didn't have... Uh, the thread of this color I couldn't finish and there was quite a lot of white around this area. Uh, now I have this color so I did fill it in uh, quite a lot. There are still some uh, white stitches here um, that are missing its colors but uh, at least it's mostly done this page. And I did another square, uh, well, not full square, but uh, most of the square on the next page. And yeah, I'm really excited to work on another row of this uh, project because um, it should be getting to the sea. Uh, now it's just the sky up there uh, and it, it will continue for a while. But if I look at all the pages correctly, Somewhere on the bottom of page, of row two of the pages, there should be the C. And even though the colors won't change much, because it's also blue, purple, gray, um, well, you can see there is a change. So um, it'll just make things uh, more exciting, hopefully. Uh, Miranda is quite a lot of stitches, so it's not like it's going to be very, very fast. And it's not like it's going to happen very, very soon. But uh, I am excited to work on it, even though um, it's hard work and it's long work. I am quite excited to see what's happening uh, to this um, project. And there's also one uh, project that I kind of started and that's the Peppermint Purple's um, Black Work Stitch Along for the 2022. But the truth is what I did as preparation was to print all the pages, the fillers, the border, the layout, and I cut my... Aida. <laughs> and that's it. I haven't restitched really anything 
uh, yet I need to figure out where the middle is, um, the center of the picture, and then put things together. So um, I might be able to show it to you in two weeks time in the next plus tube. Um, yeah, I should start something already. Uh, hopefully I will have also done uh, at least part of uh, January's fillers because they're already uh, done. Um, I mean, there is this one page where it shows all of the weekly fillers for January. So I have that printed already and it's ready to go uh, whenever I do everything correctly and know where to put those fillers. So there is um, quite a lot to do when it comes to stitching and uh, there's also the Billy Marvelous Garden for me to work on but I didn't work on it this time. So yeah. That's it for today. Um, it really wasn't the best part of the year. Uh, the best two weeks when it comes to my pleasure in stitching. But I worked through some harder moments. And I, I'm i proud of myself that I actually stitched. Even though I really didn't feel like stitching the Virgo. Uh, I did stitch um, through the rest of the page. So that's done. But I need to give it a vacation. I need to give myself some vacation. Um, so we'll see how big of a progress I'll make next time. If you've liked the video, please give it a thumbs up. It's always appreciated and I think it will cheer me up this time. Uh, leave a comment down below if uh, you have anything to say. Uh, consider subscribing to the channel if uh, you would like to see the progress of all my projects. Uh, I also have crochet and crafty videos every other week. Uh, and right now I'm focusing on a crochet sweater, so you'll also see progress of that. Um, thank you for watching and hopefully see you next time. Bye!